Hi guys, welcome to Stitchy Dee Doodle. I am Gail and my sidekick, Miko. Miko is here today. Um, in this episode, I share my progress on the unfinished object challenge. And also I have a bunch of mini amigurumis that I've been working on for the Halloween Yarn Fairy, who is Crystal from Chronically Crocheting. So let's get started. So my first finished object is Shock. She is from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. And she is one of the trio that is known as Oogie Boogie's Boys. Even though if they're called Oogie Boogie's Boys, I looked it up and Shock is actually a girl, but still considered one of the trio. And she took me one whole day to finish. If you want to know what I started off with, you can watch my first video. But in order to finish her in the one day's um, time, I did, I had to, um, her hair was already done. I just had to attach it to the hat and then attach the hat with the hair onto the head. Uh, the hat was already crocheted. Ears were already crocheted, I had to sew that on. I had to, the nose was already crocheted, had to sew that on. I also had to hand cut the felt details for her face, um, the mouth and the eyes. So these are two layers of gray and white felt. And then the black part is just acrylic paint that I painted on. And in order to um, attach the felt pieces, I used Beacon's Fabri-Tac glue. Um, you can also use, I think they have felt glue specifically for felt. And I haven't tried any other glue like Elmer's glue or anything like that, but I'm sure you can get away with other glues. I just haven't tried it other than uh, fabric glue. And then um, her arms were already finished. I just had to attach them on. And as you can tell, she's got a floppy head. So I started her a long time ago before I started reinforcing necks. So yeah, unfortunately she's got wobbly head syndrome. And then also her legs were finished. I just needed to attach them. So with the I Love This Cotton and Premier Everyday Worsted Anti-Pilling Yarn, I used the 3.5 millimeter hook and she came out to be 16 inches tall. But I'm really happy with how she came out. I want to eventually make, um, what is it? Shock, Lock, and Barrel are the three yeah. Oogie Boogie Boys. And so I want to make all of them. And then um, also in my first uh, video, you will also see my um, beginnings of the mayor of the town. And um, I want to eventually finish him and then also make, you know, the whole gang. <laughs> which includes um, Sally and Jack. But yeah, I'm super happy and she's finished in time for Halloween. So we'll see if I finish my other Halloween stuff. So that was it guys. I only have one finished UFO from the 49 that I started off with this month. Um, but that is still one more closer to my goal. So if I counted correctly, I am 49. I finished nine during the first week, nine during the second week, four during the third, and one this past week. So I should be down to 26. That's almost 50%. If I can finish one more, then that means that I finished 50% of what I started off with, which is monumental because 49 UFOs, that's quite a lot. <laughs> It's a big deal. <laughs> it is. It's a big deal and it's a big deal for me. But um, as I get closer to the end, um, there will be less and less because there, there are going to be a number of them that will not be able to be completed because of one reason or another. And again, I will get into that as we get closer um, to finishing them off one by one. So my next finished object is this finished doll. And if you watched my last week's podcast video, you will have noticed that uh, it was just the body done. So she was missing her hair and her clothing. So that's pretty much um, what I did in order to finish her off. And it took me all of one day. 
Um, I used Lion Brand Basic Stitch Yarn and also Baby B Baby Lulu, which is a discontinued yarn from Hobby Lobby. Um, and it's this fuzzy yarn. Um, I think it might be like a three weight fuzzy yarn, but I really like the, the way that it came out um, fuzzy. I thought it looked very cute. And um, I used 10 millimeter safety eyes and embroidery floss for her eyelashes. So these are removable. Her clothing is also removable. Um, her, her um, what is this called? Headband is not removable. Um, I stitched it on because I didn't want it to get lost. Um, so yeah, all of this took me all of one day. I was trying to finish it by the deadline in order to donate her to the upcoming fundraiser um, that uh, is coming up at a community place where my, my daughter takes classes. And um, I wanted to make her for um, their cause, but I didn't finish it in time. And I'm super bummed about that, but um, nonetheless, she will be a great addition to our collection here at home. Um, I don't recommend this pattern for beginners and the reason why is because the pattern designer uses four different hook sizes. But not only that, um, I tried my best to follow it according to pattern um, and it wasn't much of a success, which is why I missed the deadline, which I'm bummed about, but it's okay. Um, so I, I typically, whenever I make my, any of my Amigurumi dolls, I tend to gravitate towards four weight yarn and a 3.5 or a 3.75 um, crochet hook because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And regardless of what the pattern designer calls for, that's what I go to. So. If it ends up in a larger size doll, I'm fine with it. If it ends up with a smaller size doll, I'm cool with it. I just want to stick to my four weight yarn and my E or F hook. And that's what I'm most comfortable with. So this pattern designer used four different hook sizes varying from, I think, two point something all the way up to five millimeter. And I was like, okay, but well, my main size is going to be the 3.5. So I just use that as my um, gauge, whether sizing up or down a hook size for various parts that she's using the various hook sizes for. So um, for this portion, um, it's the same as the body. So I use the same hook size as, that I use for the body, but it didn't quite fit. It came out too small where if I laced it up, it would have shown skin. So I went up one hook size and it was still too small. So by then I got frustrated. And then I decided, well, let me try and just fiddle with a pattern and make my own number of stitches. And I just went with the, the hook size that I used for the body, the original hook size that she suggested and that didn't quite come out. Um, so then I went back to trying different hook sizes. Um, I went up another hook, uh, up another hook size, but it was like two hook sizes and that didn't work out. It was too big. So then I ended up, um, going down one more hook size and that was just right. So I was all over the place. I was frustrated by that point. Um, just, I was so ready to get done with this. It sh this part should have been really easy to finish, but because um, the pattern hook size didn't quite work out, I, I was having to um, experiment basically. Um, but yeah, by my fifth trial, it finally fit um, according to how I wanted it. Um, just enough so that you could see the lacing and no skin. So I'm finally happy with how she came out, but I wouldn't recommend this for beginners just because 
um, the recommended hook sizes didn't quite work out for me. Maybe it'll come out for you if you use the exact hook sizes that she recommends. But if you're going to be like me and you have a go-to hook and yarn size um, and you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend this pattern for you. Um, I wasn't expecting that because I have done one of her, one of the same designer's other patterns and I had no issues with that. Um, but for this particular pattern, I wasn't happy. I'm not sure if I'll make her again, but um, we'll see. But I am happy with how she finally came out. Um, she's got a uh, reinforced head, so she doesn't have, even though if you reinforce your doll heads, um, it will have a, a little bit of wiggle, but it, you'll notice that it'll, it'll always come back to center. So you can wiggle her and shake her as much as you want, but it'll always come back to center. Um, so now I've started to reinforce my doll heads. Um, and if you want to see how I reinforce my doll heads, you can just look at my podcast number one. And in one of those UFOs, you'll see a hint in there <laughs> um, to figure out what I do to put in my doll heads to reinforce them. But yeah, I'm super happy with her and I will have all the information that I have available in the description box down below. All right, guys, so that is it for my finished objects. Um, the rest of the video will be my mini amigurumis for the Halloween yarn fairy. And that is Crystal from Chronically Crocheting. And I will have all the um, video information that you need for that um, down in the description uh, box down below. So um, my first finished mini is this sorting hat. This is the Harry Potter sorting hat, if you've watched um, the movie, and it came out super cute. I am really happy with how it came out. And it's a good size, and it can smash up so portable for um, traveling, because I know that Crystal will be traveling. And all you have to do is just, you know, pop it up, and that's it. And um, so this I used, Lime brand 24 7 cotton and either a D or an E hook. I'm not sure which one, but one of those. And the color is Cafe Al Lot or Cafe Al Latte, something like that. And the designer is Toy Gurumi. And this is from a YouTube tutorial here. And I will have everything linked down below. Super happy. So for this pattern, the only thing that you um, have to sew, uh, these pieces are actually crocheted onto the hat. So you don't have to worry about that. But as far as sewing, you just have to sew in the ends um, for shaping and also this center portion. But other than that, very minimal sewing. So that I really love that. I may make more of these because it was super easy. Next mini amigurumi is this Harry Potter Golden Snitch. And this pattern is also by Toy Gurumi. And it's also a YouTube tutorial here. And for this, I use Premier Basics yarn in mustard. And the hook size is E, which is a 3.5 millimeter hook. And this is super easy. It came out really nice size because for the yarn fairy, we're trying to keep it down to palm size. And so this was super easy. I may um, make more of these, easy to crank out. So yeah, love it. I You can also make the, um, the wings in white, but because it's called the golden snitch, um, I just opted for gold throughout all of it. But um, I may change it up and just try one, maybe with white, because I've seen it both with white and gold, and they both work. But super easy, super fast, quick, and you can crank these out in no time. So for this pattern, all you have to sew on are just the wings, and that's it. I love that minimal sewing, <laughs> my least favorite part of amigurumi, but yeah, that's it, just two. Next one is... Little baby Mike Wazowski, is it? He's so adorable. 
So this one is from Jacqueline's Life and it's a YouTube tutorial. I use I Love This Yarn in Key Lime and Ivory. And I use an E, a 3.5 millimeter hook. Um, so the original pattern designer had a Monsters Inc. Um, hat that he wears, but I opted not to do that. I just wanted a plain um, Mike Wazowski. And I really love how he turned out. So he's about that big, still palm size. I just love him. He's so cute. He looks like a baby Mike Wazowski. I think that's why I love him so much, but super happy, super easy. And then the felt is hand cut and glued on with Beacon's Fabri-Tac glue. And the only thing that you have to sew on are just the ears. All right, my next finished mini is this Mickey Mouse head or ball. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a ball because it's not really his head. But um, this was super easy. It's just basically a sphere and um, the start of a, just a flat circle, but it kind of curves just slightly towards the end. Um, super easy, super fast, and it's a great size, fits in the palm of my hand. The only sewing you have to do is just the ears. Um, yeah. And that's the back. So this pattern is by Studio, and I'm going to have it on the screen here. I'm not going to attempt to say it, but it is a YouTube tutorial and I used Yarn B Sweet Minis, which is a three weight yarn, I believe. And I used either a C or a D hook um, in black and red. And um, also in the tutorial, you have an option to uh, make a mini bow, which I did make, but then I decided last minute not to include it because I wanted it to be um, good for either a boy or a girl. So I opted not to include the mini um, bow, but if you wanted to, you could make one. And she has a pattern for that. Super easy, super fast, and you can crank these out in no time. Next finished mini is this Baby Yoda, also known as Grogu. And this pattern is by Fancy Llama and it's a YouTube tutorial. I use Lion Brands 24-7 Cotton in Cafe Owl Lot, Late Latte <laughs> and in Grass. And I used a D or an E hook. Um, for this pattern, um, it was pretty easy, straightforward, but <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I did. It, it's a YouTube video tutorial, so I'm not sure how I screwed it up, but something about this collar portion, mine looks long compared to hers in the video. So I'm not sure what I did wrong, but um, I'm gonna be sure if I do make this again to pay closer attention um, to the tutorial. And um, let's see, also for the ears, I did modify the pattern slightly because I only did half of it. So it's a chain and she works up one side of the chain and then works down the other side. But I only worked one because I wanted it to be pointy. But then after I did all of that, I looked at hers and hers is pointy also, but I was like, ah, mine's is good enough. <laughs> but yeah, so. I, I like the way that it came out. It's less yarn, quicker, and it came out just fine. Um, also for this, let's see, I use 10 millimeter safety eyes. And it's a nice size, fits in the palm of my hand. Great for a mini. You know what? Nico just said that this could go like this and I was like yeah that is super cute it looks like he's got a little turtleneck <laughs> so um Crystal when you get this you can opt to um give him a turtleneck or uh, <laughs> a little collar <laughs> so cute I like him um, this way I like the turtleneck I don't know up to you still cute both ways <laughs> So my next finished mini is 
this cute Toy Story alien. So for this little guy, this is also Jacqueline's Life, uh, a YouTube tutorial here. I use I Love This Yarn, um, Premier Everyday Worsted, and Premier Basics. I use the size E hook and felt for the eyes and paint instead of safety eyes for the little pupils. Um, embroidery floss for the mouth and then Fabri-Tac glue to glue on the felt. So the pattern designer used safety eyes on hers, these black portions, but I didn't wanna use safety eyes because I was like, well, that's additional cost. Two, I'm okay, but then three, I was like, eh, I'll just paint it on. <laughs> so I did that. And let's see, what else can I say? Um, the only parts that you have to sew on are these two ears. And this purple portion, I actually glued on um, using the Beacons Fabri-Tac glue. Same, same glue that I use for the felt eyes. But yeah, minimal sewing, super cute. And it's Toy Story. I love Toy Story. And the last mini is, and probably my favorite, <laughs> this is Toy Story Forky. Um, so, but it's not in the shape of a fork. It looks like a snowman, yes, I know, but still super cute, look at it. Oh my gosh, I would love to get this. And he's got googly eyes. So this is from JM Art Handmade Craft and I will have um, the website linked down below. I used Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton, Love This Cotton, and Premier Everyday Worsted. And I used a D or an E hook. I used, um, so these are temporary googly eyes. I I don't think the portions are proper. So what I'm gonna do is right now, there's they're sticky back um, googly eyes. But what I'm gonna do is for the smaller one, I'm gonna use this one. And then I'm gonna go to the store later on today and get um, another bigger eye. Cause then I think the portion size will look better. But in order to show you in this video, I wanted to just give him these two googly eyes just for placement but I love the way he came out. So let's see. Um, I use uh, Beacon's Fabri-Tac glue in order to um, glue the shape of this. So I, I sewed it in on the ends because it's just a simple chain and then I glued it in order to place it like this. Um, later on, I'm gonna use, I'm probably gonna use, um, what's it called? Glue gun to uh, glue on the googly eyes when I get the proper uh, sizes. And um, I glued the blue yarn in place and also his, um, these, if you look at Forky, is supposed to be part of his, um, his arms. In the pattern, it doesn't have arms, but this is the, the um, what's the what's the term? What's the wire fuzzy wire? The chemise pipe, cleaner. pipe cleaners. Yeah, so this is Forky has pipe cleaners and it's wrapped around his body and shaped into arms. Um, and so this is supposed to represent that part, but the pattern doesn't have arms. I was thinking about adding that, um, but I was like, nah, he's cute enough, so I just left it as is. And I'm super happy, but I can't wait to get the proper size googly eyes. And so the only parts that you have to sew on are these tines, the fork tines on his head. But everything else is, I mean, this is sort of sewn on, but not really. It's just sewing in the ends and then uh, glued on. And this too, just sewing in the ends sort of embroidery I don't know but minimal type of sewing and glued on so super easy super duper cute I think he's my favorite so I think that is it um thank you for watching I have over 200 subscribers now so that is 
insane um and super happy <laughs> we went from 36 to 200 in a blink of an eye and uh crystal you are a big part of that and we thank you so much but um thank you for stopping by thank you for watching our videos liking subscribing commenting all of that stuff we really appreciate sharing and mentioning all of that really helps to um get the word out that we're here on youtube and um gets the word out of our sharing our amigurumi and our love for crochet and amigurumi and doll making and I just, I enjoy this whole process and I'm looking forward to every new video out there and your comments are very encouraging and we love it. So keep commenting, um, keep sharing with us your makes and your thoughts and I'll, we always reply. Um, I try my best to read each and every comment and reply. So yeah, if you wanna get to know us better, Feel free to comment down below. If you have any questions, comment. If we made you smile or laugh or we inspired you at any point in time in this video, please give us a like or hit that subscribe button and um, keep on watching. And thanks for uh, joining us today. Bye.